New this morning, a look inside an innovative classroom in Hillsborough County being called the first of its kind in the country. It is a warm, welcoming school for kids with cancer. It was started by a mom who lost her son to the disease. ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly shares this inspirational story. Bring over my pizza. I'm hungry. This adorable ball of energy is Theo. He's three years old and loves his new school. His mom, Mandy, is a big fan as well. One Voice has been like a life-saving thing for our family in a time when you're just in turmoil and you're super overwhelmed and you don't know where to go or where to turn to. One Voice Academy and Hillsborough County Schools partnered up for this classroom that's the first of its kind in the country, a fully accredited educational safe haven for kids with cancer. There's so many parents out there that don't really have another choice but to stay home with their child. Marianne Masolio is the founder of One Voice Academy here on the gorgeous grounds of Brandon's Camp, Florida. Marianne lost her son Jay from cancer when he was just nine years old. His nickname, Jaybird. He is very much remembered here as a kid who just wanted to be a kid. So often we say, no, you can't go to Girl Scouts. No, you can't go to prom. No, you can't go to baseball. They should be able to go to school. For about 20 years, Mary Ann talked about her dream with friend and Hillsborough County School Board member, Dr. Stacy Hahn. So often you wonder, why am I put in, in this role? When I see Theo and I interact with him, I know that's my why. And um, places like this are my why. The program for kids as old as high school seniors offers learning as well as medical and emotional support. For mom Melissa and daughter Laurel, the whole family benefits from this welcome sense of normalcy. You can stay here and hang out and talk to other parents who are going through similar situations and experiences. Or you could have a date night. <laughs> How great is that? In Brandon, I'm Sean Daly, ABC Action News.